Hello and welcome to Math 181 Calculus 1. Uh, this is section 4001 online. My name is Jeff Downs. My email address is jeffrey.downs at wnc.edu. My uh, office is Aspen 227. My phone number for the office is 775-445-4298. And the office hours are Monday and Wednesday, 1130 to 1230. That's in the office. And then on Tuesday, I have 11 to 2 online. So I uh, didn't say it, but this is the syllabus review for this class. So here we go. Continuing on. Uh, prerequisites for the class, it's, uh, Math 127 or equivalent or consent of the instructor. Course description offers fundamental concepts of analytic geometry and calculus, functions, graphs, limits, derivatives, and integrals. Course objectives. Upon completion of this course, successful students should be able to do the following, evaluate limits, differentiate sums, powers, quotients, products, trigonometric and inverse trigonometric functions, logarithmic and exponential functions explicitly and implicitly, apply differentiation to curve sketching, solve related rates and optimization problems, use Newton's method to approximate the zeros of a function, perform indefinite and definite integration of algebraic, trigonometric, exponential, and logarithmic functions with the substitution method, find the area under the curve, and solve growth and decay problems. <coughs> Excuse me. The uh, course is worth four credits. Transferability within Nevada. This course is designed to apply towards a WNC degree and or transfer to other schools within the Nevada system of higher education, depending on the degree chosen and other courses completed. It may transfer to colleges and universities outside Nevada. For information about how this course can transfer and apply to your program of study, please contact a counselor. Linkage to the college mission, provide instruction that contributes to students' ability to think critically and solve problems, to reason mathematically and apply computational skills. Uh, the book for this class. So this is the first time I'm using this book, so we're all going to be patient together with this. And I, I think it's going to be a good thing, a good change to make. Um, I've used uh, different text in the past. I don't even want to mention it. Uh, nothing negative about it, but this one is much more accessible for students and I think far easier to read. So it's Calculus 1 by Lumen, and it's a whole package deal. It's integrated into the class. Uh, you'll need to get the access code either from the bookstore or, or, uh, OA, or uh, Lumen OHM. And uh, it has this integrated um, homework package as well as the book that's uh, embedded in there and videos. So uh, you can get the 14-day free trial and then um, go from there. <clears throat> So the supplies you need for the class, the textbook that's embedded in Canvas, uh, a TI graphing calculator is optional but, uh, but encouraged. I do have the TI-84 and the 89 that I like to use, but something I did start using when I did Lumen last semester for another class, it's for, I didn't use it for pre-calculus, it did have an embedded um, calculator that had several different types you could embed, and I was using with the class the Desmos calculator. So there are other options there, if that's helpful and cheaper. So the grading scale is A, B, C, D, F, pretty standard there. And it's, it's basically we have in in the program, um, you know, have the different components, uh, pretty much the, uh, you have a syllabus quiz, you have the quizzes that are, and I'll go into this in a second, but the quizzes that are like the chapter tests, and then you have the homeworks. So, of course, videos, please be sure to watch all the videos in this course and take notes on them. These are arranged by weeks and they're located in the modules. So you'll see in there, and in fact, I shouldn't even say they're arranged by weeks, but they're in each module um, that you'll see videos for that. And I'm making my own as well as the ones that the book has. Homework, all homework assignments are in the modules in Canvas. The homework is completed through the practice activities. You may access assignments tab or in the course summary below. Uh, the syllabus here on Canvas. So I personally would like to go into by clicking on modules and I see what's there. Uh, there are other ways to get to the same thing. And that one way is to go into the syllabus and then from syllabus below the syllabus, you'll see all the assignments. Quizzes. Each module ends with a quiz. Quizzes can be found in the assignments tab, the modules, or the course summary. <clears throat> Weekly live meetings. There'll be a weekly live me a Zoom meeting currently scheduled for Tuesdays at 1 p.m. We may change that time, but that's what I've set for the time being. If you're unable to attend this meeting, please post your questions to the discussion board and they will be worked at the meeting. In general, please post questions to the discussion board 
and they can be answered by your fellow students, uh, classmates, or me. It also counts towards your uh, participation grade. Grading, of course, work assignments completed on Lumen OHM are automatically graded by that program. And the final grades recorded by the program are transferred to Canvas Gradebook. The official gradebook for this course is the Canvas Gradebook, not the gradebook on the Lumen OHM. If you feel a problem was misgraded, please let me know so I can review the issue. And I'm really happy to go in there and I can see like, okay, it was really close or I'm not sure why I marked it wrong. And I'm happy to make corrections for students. Discussions, you must post at least 10 substantive discussion postings in Canvas. Each posting is worth 10 points for a maximum of 100 points. Live meetings, there'll be optional weekly live meetings. I already mentioned that. <clears throat> From 1 to 2 on Tuesdays. Uh, this may need to be changed. These sessions are insufficient time for the lessons to be taught. Lessons are already in Canvas in the modules. The live meetings are intended to be a time that students can ask questions and present problems that they have encountered. Live meetings are optional but recommended and will be recorded for those who cannot attend. There'll be Zoom meetings, so as I said above. Okay, in attendance, there is no daily attendance for this class. However, during the first week of class, you must complete the syllabus quiz and the OHM tutorial. Now, this actually helps you great. If you do the syllabus quiz, it's real simple. Um, but that shows activity. Uh, if these activities are not completed, you risk losing financial aid. So do it. It doesn't take you very long. I mean, it probably take less than a minute. Complete the syllabus quiz by Wednesday, January 26, 2022. Students must post attend postings. I'm reiterating within the discussions, but this is kind of the attendance is posting the discussion postings. Also, students may attend the optional live sessions, but they are not required to attend those sessions. So I'm hoping I'm getting that point across that live sessions are available. They're not required. This is an asynchronous course. Ethics statement. No cheating of any kind will be tolerated. Any student caught cheating attempting to cheat or assisting in the cheating of another student will be expelled from the class of the failing grade. Early alert, please note that in an effort to help students successfully complete their courses, the counseling office on campus will ask faculty for names of students they feel may be in need of additional assistance. The counselor may contact you to offer some ideas. Great appeals can be made to Scott Morrison. He's the director of liberal arts division. There's the email address, disability statement, Western Nevada College is committed to providing reasonable accommodations for all persons with disabilities. The syllabus is available in alternate formats upon request. Any student with a documented disability needing academic adjustments is requested to speak with the disability support services and the instructor as early in the semester as possible. All discussions will remain confidential. Please contact the Disability Support Services Carson Campus, Cedar 209. There's the phone number and the director, Susan Triss. There's her email address. Susan does travel to the Fallon campus monthly and to the Douglas campus upon request. Important dates. January 24th, classes begin. Let me just read through those if you want. Spring break is March 21st to 25th. So content covered in this material. This course will be used using the open source book and support material by Lumen. This material is presented in a different format than traditional textbooks. This book covers chapters 1 through 6. For the purpose of this course, we'll cover chapters 2 through 5. With chapter 6 included time for many, I mean, I've limited that down to one section. Uh, therefore, we will have uh, between four and five chapters. You can do chapter 1 if you want. It's not going to count towards the class. I can open it up. I just don't want to open the assignments and make you feel like there's more work to do. But it's really a review of your pre-calculus topics. Chapter 2 is limits. Chapter 3, derivatives. Chapter 4, applications of derivatives. Chapter 5, integration. And Chapter 6 will cover area between curves. Now, <clears throat> I wish I... One thing that's funny about this book is it doesn't list like 1.1, 1.2, 1. or 2.21, 2.2. So uh, when you get down here to our tentative schedule, and then I say tentative, this is probably one of the times I really mean it, is that this is kind of the, the pace I want to keep. I'd like to cover chapter two within three weeks. If we get done earlier, great. If it takes us longer, mm, I mean, we still would have a pace to keep. Then we can cover chapter three. My real goal is to be done with chapter three before the spring break, and then chapter four, and then chapter five. 
um, than chapter six. They're just the one section of chapter six. I call it six one for lack of anything else, but uh, we'll, we'll just do that part. So this is how I have the class set up. I'm really looking forward to seeing how it's going to work out and uh, just asking you to let me know when there are problems and uh, be patient with, with the overall um, setup and we'll make adjustments as we need to go along. But looking forward to a great semester using some new material, and hopefully this will be uh, good for us all. I'll see you online.